And locally, what's left of barrel is headed our way with rain, some leftover wind, and the rainfall will be torrential and heavy at times. We had rain today. We're going to see soggy conditions, especially late tonight into and through the day Tuesday, moving out on Wednesday. And there you see the bar chart with the timing of the heaviest rain, even though some heavy downpours and spotty severe thunderstorms are occurring right now. It really ramps up late tonight into the midday hours on Tuesday. Uh, home energy savings, even uh, with the deeper clouds, 91% today. Tomorrow, the sun index is at a zero and home energy savings, 41%. So needless to say, poor yard work conditions today and again on Tuesday. And it'll be so soggy on Wednesday. Have to let it dry out a little bit. So improvement on Thursday. Look at all the lightning on the map. That is a danger all by itself. You don't want you getting zapped by any lightning. And you can see we have a small portion of the viewing area, a little uh, cluster of a uh, thunderstorm there. Jefferson, St. Louis County, one inch size hail and 60 to 70 mile per hour winds. And a small part of Phelps County in our viewing area. That one is moving to uh, the north and east. So let's focus a little more on this particular cell over northern Jefferson County and St. Louis County. The damage threat is considerable because uh, 70 mile per hour outflow winds are possible with that particular cell. And then heavy garden variety rain and some thunder showers down towards Carbondale. It's part of a cool frontal system and it's taking its time moving into our area. More important, the remnants of barrel came ashore this morning as a category one hurricane. And this is the path just south of St. Louis. So the favored area for the heaviest rain, talking two to four inches of rain, is uh, from St. Louis down to the south. But we are still in the flood watch area. So depending on the path, we could also see two to four inches of rain in Metro St. Louis and areas just to the north. A lot of heat out west starting to abate a little bit, but uh, the pavement holds the heat so well that it is still quite intolerable out over the western United States. So into tonight, a uh, low risk uh, that we're seeing over southern sections of the viewing area, and it continues and amps up a little bit, ramps up a little bit, Paducah over towards uh, southern Indiana. You can see the uh, thunderstorm rolling across Perryville right now at the Missouri's National Veterans Memorial. 86 here, a lot of heat across most of the country. And out in Phoenix, it's 114 after record heat for the western United States over the weekend. Local temperatures where it has rained, it's dropped back. New Melly 78, Chesterfield 79, a lot of 80s with high dew points, high humidity across our area and a barometric pressure that is falling. So we have lift in the atmosphere. Mold is sky high. It's just been so soggy and wet uh, and plantain is moderate. So as we head through the evening hours, this is not the main dose. We will see scattered uh, strong uh, thunderstorms in the area line up along the I-44 corridor, but the main rain moves in about daybreak and is heaviest about midday. You can see the enhanced reds and oranges. Severe thunderstorms not out of the question, but more in the way of torrential rains, and then that precipitation moves out on Wednesday. Rainfall amounts again two to four inches along and south of I-44 into uh, eastern sections of the viewing area up towards Greenville, Illinois, and that's the favored area for that flooding and flash flooding. So scattered thunderstorms early evening, a little bit of a lull, and then it really increases after midnight with rain and thunderstorms, a low down to 71. The heaviest rain moves into the area midday tomorrow, according to the modeling. And with all the clouds and rain in the area, a high of only 75 degrees, the rain spins out of here on Wednesday. Some dry time, high of 87. A little wave in the atmosphere Thursday could bring us some rain late, but then uh, dry conditions, fair skies, hot and steamy into the new weekend, highs in the mid-90s.